boys and girls. Today we are going to do math lesson 9.14. Just a reminder though, this is already a chapter review. I'm going to review a few things that I feel that you might have a problem with um, with your worksheet today. Tomorrow, lesson 9.15 is a chapter review of chapter 7, I think all the way to number 9. I assume that you already know how to solve these problems, so we will not have a video tomorrow, okay? I want you to just take out this page and do it all by yourself. I know you can do it by yourself. All right, let's start. First of all, I think numbers 1 to 10 are very easy for you, so let's skip to number 11, okay? Number 11, you will see that the problem is written across the page. And you know when that is written that way, you have to write it going down, right? Because it's easier that way. So, when you see 39 take away 14, go ahead and write it going down. Then solve the problem. 9 take away 4 is 5. 3 take away 1 is 2. All right? All right. Let's pause the video for a minute and answer number 12 and 13 by yourself. All right. I hope that was easy. Let's go to number 14. The direction says subtract, then check your work by addition. Of course, this is, as we call it, the inverse right? Because we have to check and see if our answer is correct. Here we go. Number 14. Can we do 2 take away 9? No, we can't. So we have to regroup. Go ahead and regroup. We will take a 10 out of the 7, so that makes it 6. We'll put the 10 here, plus the 2 that's already there, that makes it 12. 12 take away 9 is... 3, 6 take away 4 is 2. All right, now we have to do the inverse so that we can check and see if our answer is correct. Let's go ahead and do it. And it's the opposite. The opposite of take away is plus. We will start from the bottom. Part plus part, which is just this number, going over, okay? 9 plus 3 is 12. We have to regroup. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 more makes 7. Let's check. 72 and 72. That means our answer of 23 is correct. Pause the video. Do the rest by yourself. All right. Now the next part might be a little hard for a lot of you because I'm still seeing some mistakes on your papers and it has something to do with um, rounding off your number to the nearest tenth. When you round off your number to the nearest tenth, all your answers will end in zero because when you count by tens, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. All right. Let's review a little bit. I think we all need to review, all right? Your first problem is 57, take away 14. Let's solve that first. 7 take away 4 is 3. 5 take away 1 is 4. Now, we have to estimate it or round the number off to the nearest 10. First number is 57. 57 is between the numbers 50 and the number 60. Now notice that the number 57 ends with the number 7. Let's look at this. The number 7 is right here. And it is closest to the number that is rounded up. So 57 rounded up is the number 60. OK, 
Okay? 57. Closest to the number that you have to round up. Number 14 is between the numbers 10 and 20. Now let's look at it. It ends with the number 4. Number 4 is closest to the number that you round down to. So the answer for 14 rounded off is 10. Now you can solve the problem. 0 plus 0 is 0. Oh, take away, sorry. 6 take away 1 is 5. All right? Pause the video. Answer the rest of the page by yourself. All right, I will not explain the back part. They are mostly word problems. Please show your work and then write your answer in the blank. All right? Okay. Don't forget, tomorrow there are, there's no lesson for 9.15. It's a chapter review. See you next week.